Number one reason to eliminate stretch knit pants in baseball. Cecil Fielder had four home runs. Barry Bonds had only five, only five. Griff Jr. with the hat on backwards to look cool. Leaves the yard and leaves the yard and gets all of this one. Whammo. Nothing but the back of the warehouse. Seven homers in the first round, but his main competition, Igor Juan Gonzalez, he could not be stopped. He hit seven in the first round. We go to overtime. It's a playoff. And Gonzalez then hits this one into the third deck, 473 feet. Probably against regulation American League pitching, come to think of it. We have a winner. Gonzalez wins in a playoff. Igor beats Griff. Griff hits the warehouse. Afterwards, he says, I thought there's no way I hit it. The most impressed, Philadelphia Phillies catcher Darren Dalton, who stood in the National League clubhouse, looked around and said, quote, the toilets, now, they're real nice. We'll just have to take Darren's word for that. As for the park, it is Baltimore's most popular attraction, and there is Cal Ripken, Baltimore's second most popular attraction. In the first inning, the National League hoping to break their five-game skid. Barry Bonds on second with a double. Gary Sheffield facing Mark Langston, the pitcher. He got his first major league hit off. That was a home run. And so is this. Sheffield puts the NL up to zip after one. Bottom of the second, the spark provided by Kirby Puckett for the AL. A 250 average in seven All-Star games coming in. Kirby goes deep off Terry Mulholland. Puckett's first ever All-Star RBI, his first ever extra base hit. It was 2-1 NL. It was 2-2 in the third. In the third was when John Crook's heart skipped a beat, facing some real high heat by Randy Johnson. Everybody was laughing except Crook, who said, he was hoping to avoid Randy. Now you know why. Kruk then performed his imitation of the wave. The Krucker takes a bow, and Randy has the wink and the smile. Bottom of the fifth, 21-year-old Pudge Rodriguez, the youngest here at Camden Yards. The shot off John Burkett, uh, that's a sticker. That's also a double. Burkett proceeds to get beat up in his two-thirds of an inning work. Albert Bell this time. The opposite way, good enough to drive in Rodriguez with a fourth run for the AL. Then it's Puckett time again. Again off Burkett. The double. Ken Griffey comes in to score two RBIs for Puckett. It was 5-2 American League. Bottom of the sixth, Atlanta's John Smoltz with his personal nightmare. First against Juan Gonzalez and Smoltz's pitch in the dirt. Albert Bell slides in on the wild pitch. Smoltz would have two wild pitches in that one inning. Two runs scored. Then in the ninth, Mike Mussina, the fan favorite, decides to warm up in the pen by himself. Cito doesn't care. He still doesn't bring him in and leaves in his guy, Dwayne Ward, to close it out against Mike Piazza. And you can hear how the fans just love Cito. He's just about as popular as crabgrass right now in Baltimore. Gaston's response, by the way, to all the boo birds, he said he was saving Mussina in case the game went extra innings. Kirby Puckett captured the MVP, but it was John Crook who captured the most attention in this game during his bat against Randy Johnson. Scared shitless. How's that? Barry said he was he was laughing so hard he he had he he had to go drive down so I wouldn't see him. <laughs> Who's that? Bond. I said I don't blame him because I was laughing too. Laughing out of fear, man. That scared the hell out of me. Ah, oh, man, I had tears in my eye. I didn't even see it. There's that bat until he struck out. <laughs> and, uh, and I was, I had to go down the hallway for a while. But I know I'll never see that bastard again. I'm <laughs> happy about it. I winked at him after that bat was over, and he came over here after the game was over, or after the uh, he was done on the game, and we just talked a little bit, and we left, and even had a soda pop. As for Cal Ripken, he could do no wrong with a hometown crowd. I was just going to go out there and see, see what happened. And um, uh, I had an opportunity. I mean, I got 2,000 hits right before uh, uh, the break. And uh, the reaction, I had a good reaction here in this ballpark that uh, took me off guard a little bit. And, and it made me feel really good. I didn't know what was going to happen going into the All-Star game. But uh, uh, it was, uh, it touched me in a place that I haven't been touched before. It was really nice.